A decad. Lesson 40. This is very similar to some stuff you've already done. If you remember your indirect speech, dare she, ga, will she, edolawaya, when you use ga or nach to refer to the rest of the sentence, uh, it's like you're saying that in English. He says that. He thinks that. Uh, so you use ga or nach uh, if it's negative. And this is just the past tense of that. So instead of ga and nach, unless it's those irregular past tense verbs that use those uh, an and nach uh, particles, uh, you would use ger for the past tense and nar with a fada on it for the negative. So chanig uh, she te, der she ger chanig she te. So that's pretty simple, right? Uh, it's just practicing with it. Uh, and uh, it's really the same stuff you've done before. So the only exceptions, of course, are those irregular verbs, der she go wakashe. So where you use an wakashe for the question, it's ga wakashe. So ga goes with an, and ger, when the question word is er, they have the same R ending, right? So they go together. Same thing in the negative. Nach will tu egdolamach. Aren't you going out? Der she nach rev she egdolamach. He says he wasn't going out. Uh, so nach unrev tu, nach rev tu. Uh, those, um, and then nar, uh, where you would say uh, nar uh, in, in the regular past tense. That wasn't very clear, was it?